Alrighty then, this is a, a video about the circuit board you see there, which is a timer relay controller, and it's also a follow up video on my spot welder. Um, what I've done is I've ordered this controller and mounted it to the board. <clears throat> I also attached a, uh, a button and I have an AC adapter to power it. I could have powered it off of the, the battery, but I figured that uh, if, I, if you're spot welding, um, it could pull enough amperage off the battery that it might cause the, the controller to <clears throat> time out, or I'm sorry, um, lose power. Uh, so uh, basically, this is a YYC 2S, and there's a lot of videos about these. There's a lot of different programs built into them for controlling a relay and I'm not really going to go through those. There's all the other uh, videos you can watch to go through them. Um, what I'm going to do is cover a few items that weren't aren't covered by the other videos. So I'm going to plug this in, and it comes up with a a screen that basically shows just the the lines. That that really means that it's ready. Uh, this button here turns the display off and on, but it also does some selection. Um, the buttons, as they were originally labeled in the terrible instructions on the auctions that I found this on, um, say that the middle are plus minus. This is a set button, and this one. I, it turns the display off and on and, and other things but they do kind of more than that so when we press and hold this button it goes into the programming mode and we have program 17 selected program 17 is the simplest of the programs it turns the relay on for a specific amount of time and that's it Uh, you uh, select the program using these buttons you can see that there's something like 40 some odd programs but the only one we're interested in is 17 when you press it again you get the A value which in this case is set to 200 milliseconds and then you you can uh, select different uh, lengths of time this one is all seconds this one is milliseconds and this one is um, I guess you'd say hundreds of a second I'm not sure um, once you select it you, you can bump it up and down When you've got the A time set, you press this button, it goes to the B time. In this case, there's no, it, program 17 doesn't use the B time, so you press it again. And now we are ready to run. Um, one of the things about this, there is a, a minimum 
speed that this can run at, or uh, I, I pulled up the information on the relay, and it 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 basically gives the minimum or gives the operation time of the relay and it says it's 10 m seconds max operation time release time 5 m sec I don't know if that's microseconds or milliseconds it, it does not say specifically so that gives you an indication of if someone knows I can post in the comments but that's an indication of the minimum time that you can energize the relay uh, or uh, that the relay operates the way it engages and then disengages so it takes 10 m seconds to engage 5 m seconds to disengage so once you've got it programmed and by the way this is controlling the solenoid on my spot welder so once you uh, press this button it will then count however many milliseconds you can see that it so if I go back in to program this and we set it for 1.7 seconds now we press the button now uh, the, the one thing that nobody uh, was clear on was um, what the minimum amount of time you can program this to and so the smallest number you can set it is 10 milliseconds so if I push the button that's the fastest this will engage I don't know if that's really 10 milliseconds because you have to take into account the relay operation um, I have not actually had a chance to use this to do anything in the way of spot welding um, just wanted to get a quick video up uh, to answer questions that other people did not answer um, that's it. Thanks for watching.